Good morning. Let's see what caps do. Look at this guy. It's ridiculous. Just wants to fuck around. Oof, I need a nest for my coffee. Good morning. Uh, as you can see, me and Cap are both wearing hoodies. His is a sweater. Um, yeah, it got cold in Florida for Christmas and uh, probably gonna heat back up to 80 degrees next week. But my hair is a mess. Just woke up. And yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking along. Um, I know I'm not the most consistent guy, but I'm learning. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. So. Um, yeah, today's a busy day. I've got to go to the shop. I got a chrysanthemum sleeve we're working on and a large thigh piece tomorrow that you guys will see and uh, take uh, take part in. So both of them aren't finished and I don't believe I'm going to finish either of them. Uh, it's going to give you guys a look into what it takes to build, finish uh, these larger scale pieces, that, that thigh piece. And there he goes. Just interrupting. Watch, watch. Zoomies. I think that got that dog has the equivalent IQ of an ant on some days, but uh, but yeah, these, this is gonna show you how, what it takes to like work on these large scale pieces and really understand that you know you can't just walk into a tattoo shop and just go I want a sleeve. Um, it takes a dedicated client and it takes a uh, dedicated artist to commit that much work into a design that is gonna be for you at the end of the day and. It'll be fun. It'll be very, very fun. I think the, the thigh piece is actually my powerlifting coach, Jen. And uh, her thigh is the size of an average man, actually, a, an average man's back. Like a skinny dude, um, his back's the size of a leg. So this leg, thigh piece is essentially a back piece uh, in size comparison. So, um, yeah, let's get after it and uh, let's get it. I'll see you guys at the shop. <laughs> Yo, gym rap of the sounding extra, extra, extra lame. Put you in your place, call that real estate. Rap in South Korea, that's where we fucking be. Fuck. Sicky, you got me? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to I'm going I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go all right that's a wrap came back to check on Coda man he's over there chasing squirrels Doing wild dog stuff. Yep. He's on, it's like he's on drugs most of the time. But uh, yeah, so that's a wrap on Dawn's sleeve. Tomorrow we have uh, another one of my clients, the big thigh piece we're still working on. We're on session three or two. We're on session two with that one. And we probably have maybe um, <laughs> two more sessions to go on it after this one. So, um, as you can see, we let me switch hands to get a better, better angle. Um, as you can see on Don's sleeve, we use very bright, vibrant colors, and like I said, projects like that are, are, are I mean, like I said, they're a long, long process. A lot of the times, um, depends on the person. Don's first session we did. Oh, I'm walking by the compost. Don's first session we did. She sat for seven hours. Uh, which is a lot for someone that was her first large sleeve piece. Um, and then this one we did four. And it was a lot of color. A lot of bright blues. Uh, we had our greens in there. And we did one red. She wanted the outer panel to be uh, the most finished piece on her arm. That way when people see it, they don't see a bunch of random colors. So we ended up doing the two bright blue chrysanthemums. And ended it with that. So realistically... Chrysanthemums are a lot like most Japanese traditional flowers. 
uh, they have a meaning, they have a representation, and they are specific to uh, the person wearing them. Um, so they're very strong, the client wearing them. Uh, she works in a very uh, stressful field. She's a very strong-minded person, and she, she ends up working with a lot of stressful stuff. Um, so when she came, excuse me, when she came to me with this idea she wanted a flower, floral sleeve, uh, Japanese traditional floor sleeve. I made sure that um, I ended up drawing and designing one that would represent her uh, best. And that was a freehand sleeve. I drew it the first session, the day of, when Dawn came in. I drew it on her. It took around an hour to draw, and uh, it was uh, very fun. So that's that session. Like I said, I think Dawn has two to three more sessions on it, maybe four hours within each session, and then after that, we'll be done and completed. And then tomorrow is Jen's, which is a large skeleton. Uh, floral piece so that's black and gray realism so it's the best of both worlds on what I do it's the exact opposite on, on on the spectrum so that's what I love to do I love to do Japanese tradition I love to do black and gray realism it's my favorite thing to draw it's my favorite thing to paint it's my favorite thing to tattoo so I'll see you guys there yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's heavy. It's so I'm the most selfish person that I know Here we go down the rabbit hole Got a couple carrots from my neck Self-respect, when you out of line You put yourself in check uh, They don't hear me, they don't, they don't, they don't hear me though Cycles going round and round and round Like the merry go Stand for truth or fall for any old scenario That's why I keep my circle smaller than a cherry yo. Cause this the company you kick Stay woke, please don't get caught slick End up sewing what you rig Know your work and no sell cheap The ghost is inside of me Can't take it out of me No matter where I've been It's about where I'm meant to be I be shining perfect time And check your watch, watch, watch And I know who I am I am no longer lost I got tired of walking around With a mask on Smiling but my heart Singing sad songs Yeah I was living for myself I was dead wrong Till I got the call No cell phone I got tired of walking around With a mask on Smiling but my heart Singing sad songs yeah, I was living for myself. I was dead wrong till I get the call, no cell phone. All right, not sure if you can hear me because the window's down for Coda, but that is a wrap on Jen's sleeve. And so far, it's been 14 hours of uh, multiple sessions. First session was five, four, and then five. Very impressive she was able to sit there for that long. She didn't even think she could sit there that long. Um, but side note, too, if you guys are hearing the wind, it's because Coda needs to have his head sticking out of the window. We're on our way to uh, the beach. But yeah, that's it. That's a wrap on the year. I'm excited. I'm grateful that you guys have stuck by that long, um, even though I haven't put out that much. But uh, here's to 2023. Thankful for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and keep an eye out for new videos that will be coming here in the future. Thanks, guys.
Yo, my guy. What up, bro? Even in the dark, these shots of my own camera. Jen is Julian. Julian Jen. Let's go, man. Thank you. <laughs> I like drove around like twice. I was like, I didn't see a sign.